Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So as I stated in my previous reading that I had did on the circumstances, circumstances surrounding that that night, <laughs> uh, that night that just keeps on giving, because we learned something new day by day about what happened that night. But an unidentified witness had told authorities they saw Meg and her former best friend Kelsey arguing moments before Meg was injured. The question at hand that everyone asks is, what was they arguing about? What was Meg and Kelsey arguing about that night? So we're about to look into it to see. Before we get started, I want to say congratulations because Kelsey is pregnant, guys. Oh, she looked so beautiful in her pictures. Thank you, Spirit. First, we're going to see uh, about their relationship. Will they, will they become friends again? Spirit, thank you. Please show me what is to come for Megan and Kelsey's relationship. <laughs> thank you, Spirit. This is isolation. You go your way and I go mine. Thank you, Spirit. Will they become friends again? Well, I don't think so. Failed, failed plans with this three of wands. Thank you, Spirit. Will Megan and Kelsey become friends again, Spirit? Will they become friends again? Show me, Spirit. I keep seeing the Six of Cups, so that's about like reconciliation about a past relationship. Will they become friends again? We got the Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. This is about love, compassion, joy, and creativity. There could be a forgiveness and renewal of a relationship. A reconciliation and making a peace with a difficult situation. Uh, love is still there with this Ace of Cups. So the love that they had and shared with each other is still there. And like I, like I said, I kept seeing the Six of Cups doing shuffling, which is about a nostalgia card about a previous relationship. So the love is still there. They still care about each other. But we got the Four of Pentacles. Somebody is stubborn. Uh, someone has they they taken a defensive stance and they are too careful to move forward. Someone feels something they had once nurtured turned on them. So it could be that Kelsey feel that the relationship that she invested with Meg, Meg turned her back on her, and Meg could feel like the relationship that she invested with Kelsey. Kelsey turned her back on her. So, some relationship that was nurtured, someone feels somebody turned on them. Someone that loves material comfort and uh, safeguarding. Uh, they, they love material comfort and they safeguarding their self with this Four of Pentacles. They, they love this money. And they protected their self. We got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is a feeling of in investing, a feeling of investing in the re wrong relationship. Things uh, will not change. So someone that felt that they nurture and care for in a relationship that if if I get back with you, I don't think you are gonna change. There's a lack of faith in something. There's no motivation to work, work on things with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The ladies are going to keep to oneself. There's just too much distrust and trauma. There's going to be caution. Someone is taking a stance and protecting themselves. There's going to be caution in handling of emotions. 
Y'all don't know why I feel like Kelsey. I feel like she might sue both Tori and Megan for the trauma that the, both of her, both of them caused her. Because they both did cause her trauma. And here she is trying to defend herself like I ain't the one that shot her. So I, I feel like so I feel like she's gonna sue. Um but yeah, the, the emotions are too strong. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's going to be emotionally challenging for the ladies to reconnect. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. We're about to get to that question. That million dollar question. What the heck was these two arguing about that night? And of course, everybody say it's about Tori. That one found out that the other one was sleeping with them behind their back. So let's see. Spirit, thank you. Please show me what was Megan and Kelsey arguing about that night Megan was in the spirit. What was they arguing about, Spirit? The lady card. This is about I'm I'm the the better woman <laughs> with this lady card. <laughs> I'm the better choice. What was they arguing about, Spirit? What was Meg and Kelsey arguing about that night, Spirit? That Meg was injured. Thank you, Spirit. We got the moon card and the whips. Mm. Mm -mm. Moon, this is about addressing emotions. Um, we seen the lady car. Um, I'm that top notch. I'm the one. I'm the one in charge. So this is about addressing emotions with the moon car. Whips. Um, conflict. Arguments and aggressions. So the moon and the whip as a combination. Confrontation about fears needs um, needs uh, of emotions in general. There's deep shame, uh, profound remorse. To make someone deeply unhappy by shaming them or criticizing them. We see the what the lady card doing shuffling. I'm better than you. I'm the star. I got the money. This nigga want me. And you know what? I don't even like using that word. Forgive me, y'all. Forget that I even said that word. I, I just I that's such a distasteful word. But um, yeah, this is about shaming and criticizing others. Uh, conflicting needs or fears, emotional violence, emotional injury, um, emotionally broken, to shame someone for their feelings, discussion of needs in conflict about someone's emotional needs. Y'all, this low quality argument is about what belongs to who? The lady card. We see door shuffling. He's mine. You may not had him once, but I had him all the time. It's about who belongs to who. Conflict about monetary issues. The lady card. I'm the star. I'm the better looking one. I'm the better choice. <laughs> Someone felt guilty for having something because they have more. They have more because they they do feel guilty that they are the lady card, the leading one. <laughs> There's unexpected confusion that caused sudden disorientation. An order was put into. Anything unclear that night. 
there was a reaction to a breakup or a sudden ending with despair. Mm. The confusion and insecurity was caused by oneself that night. The veil was ripped off. Everything that was hidden comes into light. So, I'm not, I don't want to call it, I don't want to call it that it was about Tori, but I'm going to have you guys use your discernment of this. But this, that night, that argument was about, um, about something that belongs to me. A lot of confusion. Somebody that was insecure that night. Things that was hidden came to light that night. I, I don't want to call it that these two was arguing about toys. So, y'all use y'all discernment. <laughs> Spirit, thank you. Let, let's get a message. Let's get a message for these beautiful ladies. Spirit, thank you. Can I please have a message for Megan and Kelsey? Don't let your pride get in your way. Spirit, be knowing. Thank you, Spirit. Don't let your pride get in your way. Thank you, Spirit. You are good enough. Spirit be knowing, y'all. Spirit, thank you. Can I please have a message? Can I have a message for Maggie and Kelsey? Maggie and Kelsey, Spirit. Can I have a message for Maggie and Kelsey, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Confidence is your key to success. Spirit be knowing. Spirit be knowing, y'all. This is like, be proud of who you are. And that's a strong, beautiful woman. You both are two strong, beautiful women. Think of yourselves as queens and carry yourself accordingly. Confidence is your key to success. That conducts the reading on Megan and Kelsey. If you guys enjoy this reading, hit the like button, y'all. You know how I like to say it. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the hit the, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the hit the hit the like button. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. Again, congratulations to Kelsey on your new bundle of joy that you're about to have. Be blessed, guys.